One thing we've heard again and again from black people around the world is that what makes the recent incidents different is that there has been mobile phone footage showing what has happened, the interaction between black people and the police. Well, now a new shortcut has been developed. This is the post on Reddit by a user who felt so moved by the need to develop a way for people on their own to make sure there's a visual record of their interaction with the police that they put this together. Now, what exactly is going on here? Well, this is a way of using Apple's voice assistant known as Siri to go through a number of actions on your phone without you yourself having to touch it. Let's break down some of the key ones. With the command, I'm getting pulled over, a number of things will happen. This shortcut will pause your music. It will dim the brightness of your screen so no one can see that you're recording. It will also dim the volume of anything you're playing. Uh, we're saying here that it will start recording from the front facing camera and then it will send a message that looks like this to your trusted uh, confidant, your trusted contact saying, as you can see here, I'm getting pulled over. Here is my location on Apple Maps. That will be a live location. And this is how the app actually looks. You activate Siri on your phone, on your device by pushing the side. I'm getting pulled over. It will then take normally a couple of moments. iOS, it's worth saying, people are pointing out, is a bit slow on this. But what it will then do is activate the front facing camera to create a visual record of the interaction that you're about to have with the police. As you can see here, this is now a video of my face. It's recording. Nobody would know, say if this was on my dashboard, that this was happening. When I choose to end the video, I do need to touch it, but that then can be sent to my contacts. What people are saying this is doing is adding an extra layer of security so that even if you're on your own, your interaction with the police is recorded. And I think perhaps it speaks to the real lack of trust that exists between so many communities and law enforcement across America, but across the world as well.